Another big COVID concern detailed by Austin's top doctor today, the chain of transmission that starts with young people. As KXAN education reporter Alex Capriello reports, it's something parents need to be aware of as school districts like Austin ISD prepare for more students to return to campuses. The latest guidance from AISD coming instead directly from schools, like this email from Keeling Middle School. Students will begin shuffling between classes, but will continue to Zoom from their desks, just like the kids at home. The band department not mincing words. There is no benefit to receive in-person instruction while the majority of students are still participating in online learning. Keeling Middle School says the Texas Education Agency is the reason it has to make these changes. He woke up and rushed me out the door. He said, we're going to be late, mom. Hurry up. You're going to make it late. I need to get there. He was, it was, he was so excited. Tina Walker sent her second grader back to Jocelyn Elementary weeks ago. She said despite working behind a computer screen most of the day, he still gets more teacher interaction than he was from home. I try to get him on a one-on-one -on -one Zoom and try to get him to participate you know, it's a lot different. Despite the push forward, Austin Public Health's Dr. Mark Escott told county commissioners he's seeing an increase in hospitalizations for people aged 40 and above, which he attributes to kids aged 10 and up. We talked about the importance of those individuals not interacting with the older age groups because we really need to protect them. Uh, we're seeing the effects of, of the transmission of disease uh, between those age groups and certainly more concerning in terms of its impact on our hospitalizations and our fatalities. Even still, Walker will keep her son in school when more kids are expected to go back in November. She trusts the safety protocols AISD has in place. I see the apps, uh, the questions being asked. I see the masks all the time. I see them spacing kids out. So I feel comfortable with that. I feel that that's, that's comfortable. Alex Capriello, KXAN News. Last week, AISD superintendents at the district would increase in-person instruction for middle and high school students after talking with the TEA. She's given principals the authority to make plans and work through issues at the campus level. Administrators will send out a new survey to parents soon asking if they'll want to send their students to classes in person or continue learning remotely. Millions of children live in multi-generational families in the U.S. Today, Dr. Escott stressed that the risk of children transmitting COVID-19 to older people is real. Nationwide, 6% of people 65 and older live with school-aged children. The nonprofit Kaiser Family Foundation collected the data. 6% equals 3.3 million people. The percentage of older people of color living with school-aged children is higher. 17% of older Hispanic adults live with a child between the ages of 5 and 18. And 11% of black adults over 65 share a home with at least one school-aged child. 